grown man, a 40 year old man with, you know, two or three kids walking down the street and he has his pants hanging down below his butt meat. I'm just like, bro, what are you doing? You look like a moron, you know, and it's not saying you got to wear the skinny jeans. I'm not about that skinny jeans lifestyle either. But man, you know, you're walking around, you, you got to hold up your pants just to walk down the freaking street. It looks ridiculous. But back to the point. They were saying that they don't want to come down only on the men in Alabama. They said, we're going to make a gender balanced decision and they're considering banning the short skirts that are too short. And I'm reminded of a piece I saw, uh, I guess it was last year, maybe earlier this year. And it was a bunch of little girls using some profane language talking about uh, being raped or, you know, guys wanting to rape them. And while, you know, it was a little coarse from my taste to see, you know, little schoolgirls behave in such a way, they did make a point that, they're telling young girls not to wear, uh, you know, the booty shorts and the mini skirts, but they need to be teaching young boys not to rape. And I would agree with on that because you can't uh, be, tell the ladies, no, hey, don't wear this, don't wear that, and then you know, not say anything to the guys when they don't accept no as an answer. No means no. I mean, she ain't having it. You got to let it go and move on to something else. But uh, we'll see how this continues to develop. And like I said, I always bring up, you know, the banning, banning the American flag T-shirts out in California. It's like everything they want to do except address the root problems. Like in Oklahoma at one point, they were trying to ban hoodies. Now, the original law in Oklahoma was to ban Klan activities, and I can understand that. But now it's getting to the point where they don't want you to walk down the street in a hoodie, even if it's cold outside, which is completely ridiculous to me. And now we're going to play this video. I'm going to talk about it, about guys taking advantage of these short skirts. Not saying that you shouldn't wear them, ladies, but I just want you to be aware that people like this are out there. Now, this is a situation that was caught on film in Ontario. And as you can see, the man there gets pretty bold with his uh, upskirt video and uh, films the ladies and walks away and uh, acts as, as if nothing happened. And it's my understanding this guy's actually still on the loose. He's a, a white male aged between 25 and 35 years old, about 150 pounds, red hair, and wearing blue jeans, as you can obviously see. So just be aware that these type of people out there, I'm not saying you should change your way of life to accommodate perverts like that, but definitely be aware that they are out there. And uh, I guess you can call them some perverts. Uh, some of the people in our national security apparatus, who uh, I think it was an episode of The Daily Show, they made fun of this talking about Snowden and how Snowden couldn't get people to care about being spied on. We said, well, if they can see your naked selfies, and people, oh man, does, they say they can see my naked selfies. Yes, they can see your naked selfies. And we have AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, help the NSA in their mass data collection. And you can go read that report by the Electronic Frontier Foundation. So anyway, but loose, they're spying on you every way that they can. Now stay tuned, we'll have more special reports coming up after this break. And don't forget our money bomb coming up this week, the 16th and the 17th, we'll have more details coming up. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Vote for Jeb, or you're just f***ing stupid. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. Clean, toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser. With concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others, Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different 
different cleansing products. We use decades-old scientific research to put together the Rolls-Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research, and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosyl cobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing the first proprietary oxygen-based intestinal cleanser, Oxy Powder, backed by real FDA-approved phase one, two, and three clinical trials. People are suffering from all kinds of digestive issues these days. All the toxins from the air, the food, the water, ultimately ends up in the gut or affects the gut. My main focus was to come up with a remedy for this, something that's safe and effective that anyone can take on a regular basis to keep their intestinal lining clean. My recommendation is to clean your intestines at least two to three times a week to prevent the toxic buildup from going into your bloodstream. Take your health into your own hands and start cleansing your body today with Oxy Powder. Secure your Oxy Powder today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. <laughs> Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host today. I asked uh, Tom from Maryland, who's a retired police officer. He said he retired in 2003. I asked him to hang on over the break because uh, he wanted to talk about not only the, uh, uh, the Bill of Rights, the Law Enforcement Bill of Rights, but also about his personal experiences in terms of black box recorders that were surreptitiously placed around. What he told us was that uh, he was alerted uh, by some people who worked on the railroad that said, hey, we found these black boxes. We think there might be some illegal wiretapping going on here. As he started to investigate it, he found out that this is something that was being done internally. He was made an example of, his department uh, was made an example of. Of course, we have seen this subsequently. Uh, probably, the, the I'm sure the devices have changed since 2003. Uh, now, in the last couple of years, we've seen several cases involving stingray devices made by Harris Semiconductor. We have the FBI that is push that are pushing these to the uh, local law enforcement. There was a very famous case um, uh, within the last year. I, I can't remember the exact date of when this happened, but they had a guy who had been arrested, I think it was for burglary or something like that. He was going around uh, burglarizing houses. And uh, the judge asked how they got the information. And they said, uh, well, we, we can't tell you. He says, what do you mean you can't tell me? And said, so, well, we have a non-disclosure agreement that we've signed, that they'd signed with Harris Semiconductor. And he goes, you don't have a non-disclosure agreement with me. You're going to have to tell me what this is. So rather than having a fight with a judge, getting in contempt of court, they simply let the criminal go. That's called parallel construction. They use these listing devices for the NSA or typically for the DEA or whatever. They get this information. They don't have a legal search warrant. And then they... Are, are given the information nevertheless, and then because they have the information, they know somebody that's doing something, then they go in with parallel construction and, and start to do it legally because they've been tipped off about something that's going on. I want to get back to Tom in Maryland before I do. Made me think about this. At the InfoWarsStore.com, we sell something called the Detractor Cell Phone Pouch. It's a way to protect your cell phone from tracking, eavesdropping, identity theft, because it's not just the police. You may not be doing anything illegal. Fine. But do you want people to be able to hack into your phone, to get information, 
to uh, your contact list, your phone number. There's no telling what people can do with the information they can find in your phone. They may use it to rob you, okay? So you want to make sure that thieves can't get into your phone as well. So you can get the Detractor cell phone pouch. You can get it at InfoWarsStore.com. It works by shielding your cell phone, your card, or your passport from all radio frequency signals. You can protect your phone from tracking, bugging, from data mining by thieves. You can get it at InfoWarsStore.com. I want to go back to Tom in Maryland. Uh, Tom, you said you wanted to talk about uh, the Bill of Rights uh, issue as well. Go ahead. I, I did. Uh, but you bring up a good point. Folks, you, you may not think you're doing anything wrong, but the latest stats show that with all the laws that have been passed, the old saying that ignorance of the law is no excuse really is ridiculous. It, yes. it really doesn't apply. And uh, to tell any court that you had no intent uh, and you were not aware of certain laws, I'm not talking about uh, obvious felonies, but uh, some of these more ridiculous smaller laws that a lot of people don't know about, even people in well, law you know, enforcement. You know, Tom, some of the things that are now felonies are ridiculous. Uh, there was a case uh, not long ago of a, of, of a man who was on a beach. He released four uh, Mylar balloons filled with helium. They were heart-shaped for his sweetheart. And he got busted for four counts of a felony because they had made it a felony to release balloons on this particular seashore because it was protected wildlife area that he didn't know about. So there's a case where he's not only ignorant, but it is an incredibly, he's now charged with four count, uh, felony counts. So there's those, those kinds of entrapments that are always out there. We talk about the reasonable man standards in, in court. You know, just talk about it. It's applied all the time. And, and that's what I'm talking about. And you brought, you brought to mind when you said, Folks, you may not think you're doing anything wrong, but the latest stats actually show that every American every day is breaking between three and six laws. Mm -hmm. uh, that sounds crazy, but look it up. Google it. It's actually true. Um, and by the way, before I forget, I'll make it quick. You talked about uh, all of this land uh that the government is looking into the senators. They're taking note of what they have. And you were wondering, uh, I think it was yesterday, uh, exactly what was going on. But they're just taking inventory of what they want to control. Well, I, I uh, got hold of a lien that was filed by uh, China. Uh, and it was filed, interestingly enough, here at the Comptroller's office in Maryland. Uh, it was also filed in D.C. Uh, and it's for all real property in the United States and ordered very oddly uh, of all, for all, a lien against all men and women with arms and legs. And it stated a dollar amount of $4 trillion. Now I'm looking in to see whether or not this actually is on record uh, with these offices. If you'd like a copy of it, uh, yeah. I can talk to your screener. And, and yeah, I'll yeah give that to the screener. I'd like to say, is that something you found on the Internet and you're trying to verify whether that's true or not? Yeah, someone sent it to me. Um, hmm. and that's amazing. It, it's a good source. So, um, yeah, I think it may actually be something that uh, we might want to be concerned about. As for the Bill of Rights, I just wanted to let you know, it cuts both ways. Um, I, I've been down that path before uh, after uh, what I told you about. Um, like I said, uh, their job was to make my life miserable and to make me an example. Um, and I wasn't the only one. Uh, other honest police, and there's, there's a lot of them out there, uh, go down this route as well. Mm -hmm. Now, with the Police Officers Bill of Rights, it, it in Maryland, at least, was designed so that police officers, good police, weren't taken advantage of. And to give you the example, like I said, with military and paramilitary organizations, uh, you can be brought up on departmental charges, and you go to for instance, in Maryland, you go to a, what's called a police trial board. Well, it's like a court. You go there, you need an attorney if you want to have success, and you need a good attorney. It costs money, and, the, and there are real penalties um, if you're convicted at these trial boards, just like in a military tribunal. So, and, by the way, double jeopardy does not attach. So you can be tried, convicted, punished severely um, at, the, at the police tribunal. Um, 
And then you can be charged in state court. And if they want, they can charge you in federal court. I, I've known where this has actually happened. So you can go through the ringer three times. Yeah. Um, so it, it does cut both ways. So it protects police when uh, they're wrongfully charged. And it, and it does happen. They go after, like I said, they go after police who are trying to do the right thing. Now, I, I know it can also work for the ones that are not doing the right thing. Sure. And by the way, also in, in Maryland, um, police, uh, they're, just for an example, uh, and 